Good morning, lights. Today, I have some wonderful news for you. The golden age of Gaia. You are about to enter into the magnificent era of possibilities. You have been waiting for this time, for this moment of your life, and you have been looking forward to it. It's time to be joyful and celebrate your new life journey. Your time is coming. Your time is now. The new earth is here. The golden age of Gaia has begun, and it comes with all the blessings of Mother Earth upon you. As you move forward into this new Earth, it is being manifested by the Galactic Federation and Ascended Masters of our planet, who are here to assist you in making this transition into this new way of being and living. They are assisting you through their guidance, wisdom, and love. The time has come. Your life is about to change forever. The shift in consciousness that is occurring now will be so massive and profound that it will affect everything you think, say, and do on a daily basis. It will also affect every single person on this planet. This shift in consciousness is called New Earth, the Golden Age of Gaia. Gaia is the name given to Mother Earth by ancient cultures around the world. She was known as Our Mother by the Egyptians and Greeks who worshipped her as the goddess of nature, fertility, motherhood, and creation. Gaia represents our connection with the earth itself, from which we came but also from which we will return when we die, back into the unity field where all things are one. It's an opportunity for us all to get our priorities straightened out so that we can finally be happy with who we are and what we do. You see, our planet is a living being that has its own intelligence. She has been here since the beginning of time, and she knows what we are going through today. She also knows that it is time for us to evolve into higher dimensions so that we can share our knowledge with others who are willing to learn from us. The new Earth is not just another place on this planet. It is an entirely new reality where your physical body exists in a more crystalline structure as opposed to its current carbon-based structure. You can visit wherever you choose and stay as long as you want because there are no limitations whatsoever. We are on the brink of an era of unprecedented abundance. The Golden Age of Gaia is a time when humans and animals live in harmony with nature, when the Earth has been restored to its original beauty and fertility, and when we can live as one with our planet and each other. This is also known as the New Earth or the New Paradigm. In the past, our world has been ruled by a few people. The people you see in the news who are on TV and in movies have all had different agendas and goals in mind. In this new age, you will have infinite choices to create beauty and harmony as you wish. I am writing this because I want to share with you the vision I have for the future. The time will come when you will be able to live and work at a place that has unlimited free clean energy, no more pollution or toxic chemicals, and no more economic worries. In fact, you will have everything you need to live a life of abundance and joy. You may think it sounds like science fiction right now, but now there is an opportunity to live in this world. You can manifest anything by using your own mind power and awareness to construct the life you desire. You don't need anyone else's permission or approval to do this. You can expect to have more good things come into your life. You are about to enter into the magnificent era of your possibilities that you have been putting off for so many years because you were not ready or didn't know how to handle it yet. Now is the time for you to begin making changes in your life and becoming more involved with Mother Earth and others around you. As this new era dawns, we shall see changes unlike anything you have ever witnessed before in your lifetime. The new era of Gaia will be one in which old thoughts, old ideas, and old ways of thinking are dissolved by the energy of the new consciousness coming forth. You will learn to hold all your thoughts lightly, realizing that they keep shifting and changing from moment to moment. Live in this moment fully, and you will see true fulfillment. We are in for an amazing ride over the next few months as we witness the potential and possibilities of what life can be. As you go through your own climb to the top, it's important to remember that this is not a race or competition. It's a test of endurance and perseverance, mind over matter and heart over anything else. So remember to hold on tight and enjoy the ride. We are ready for mass ascension. 
The time has come for you to step into your power as your true self. You have been waiting for this moment for thousands of years, but now it is here. You can finally make a difference in the world that surrounds you. As we enter the final phases of mass ascension, we are moving from a state of separation toward unity consciousness. This process is necessary for our ascension and will continue until we reach full enlightenment at the end of time. This is a very exciting time. I know that you are feeling anxious, but please be assured that everything will work out just fine. We have made tremendous progress during the last few years. The next step is to raise your vibration even higher so that you can release all of your old patterns and begin to take in more light from above. You will know when this has happened because suddenly you will feel much lighter inside than ever before. The next few months will be a time of great change and transformation. You can see this as a new golden age for humanity or as an opportunity to create your own destiny in this lifetime. You can also see it as a time for everyone on Earth to unite and participate in the process of ascension. It is important that you keep in mind that this is not just about yourself or even all of humanity. It's about our planet and all of its inhabitants who have been living through such intense changes over the past few years. This is what marks the beginning of our path toward a new era in which we will live together harmoniously and peacefully as one family on this beautiful planet. There will be no more war or suffering, only peace and love. The group consciousness has been aware of the mass ascension for many years. The world has reached a critical point in its evolution and it is time for mass ascension. As you prepare for mass ascension, allow yourself to be open to the amazing possibilities that are coming your way. The times we live in have never been more amazing. The ascension process that human beings go through is natural. We are moving towards higher levels of consciousness, and as that occurs, our energy body is changing. For some people, this means their third dimensional existence is becoming uncomfortable, and they have begun to feel restless and more connected to the universe. At this point in time, we are now many people disconnected from others in our society, but soon to become whole again with the coming mass ascension. The time has come for all of us to stand up and take responsibility for ourselves, our planet, and our lives. We have been given this opportunity by the universe because we have shown that we are ready and able to receive it. You are ready to ascend, but there is still some work that needs to be done before you can experience this state. You must continue to work on your own personal ascension process and develop as a person. This involves developing your higher consciousness, learning new skills, and working on yourself so that you can better serve humanity and Gaia at this time. As we learn how to release old habits and beliefs that no longer serve us, we can start making changes in our lives so that they will lead us to a more fulfilling existence in the future. Because of this, it is time to begin the process of activating your spiritual identity. Before we can begin this process, we must first discuss what your true spiritual identity actually is. Your spiritual identity is not something that you can see or touch. It is not a person, place, or thing. Your spiritual identity is simply your connection to the divine and all that manifests as an expression of its love and light. Our human vision has been clouded by our egoic mind and its false beliefs about who we are. When we have a clear view of who we are as spiritual beings, we will no longer feel separate from God, the universe, or the source, because we will know that everything in existence was created by God, the universe, or the source for our benefit, and vice versa. As you move through this process of self-discovery, you will come to understand that there are two parts to yourself, one that is made up of your physical body and another that consists of pure consciousness, your true self. This second part of yourself has always existed as long as there has been life on Earth. It exists at all times and in all places throughout your universe. This is your higher self, known as spirit or soul. You may choose to call it by whatever name you wish. You will discover, though, that this level has nothing to do with your earthly identity. It's a part of you that has always been separate from your earthly identity, even when you were born on this planet. 
Therefore, if what I've said here resonates with you and resonates deeply, release all resistance and trust in the process. Trust in yourself and trust in the universe because everything, including your future, has been set into motion. Your life is a series of prearranged events destined to take place in the exact order they were meant to occur. If you can't figure out what you want to do with yourself, just remember that you are already on a path of self-discovery. That makes things a whole lot easier. Wake up and realize you are far more than your physical body. It's time to start living your life on a higher plane of existence. As always, we love you deeply. We wish you have mostly abandoned enjoying life as possible. Have a great day. Do you run?